Okay, we'll go into the uh, detail stage now, which is all the venation on the membrane part of the snowdrop, also the root system and any other little bits that we need to put in as fine detail. And it's fine lines on this, there's quite a lot of venation, so we'll use a little bit of neutral tint that's very, very thin again. The same brush, good point. So we're going to start by doing a very, very fine line down this outer edge and remembering that it is square section. So we've got this drawing here that shows it's square section, so we must retain that. So we're putting a very fine line down here, very fine line down the outside. Now, bear in mind that the light is catching the left-hand side, again, more so than the right. So this side, we can build the form up with the lines at the same time. So I'm coming down here with these very fine lines. And I'm going to go just that bit darker on the right-hand side, where my brush is now. Just bring your brush straight down. And then... This, on the left-hand side, we need a very fine line just to identify the edge of the section of the stem. And this will have lines in, but they'll be much, much lighter. So we need to thin that paint even more. Again, just a little bit on your brush and a very, very fine line straight down there, but not as dark. Okay, just enough there. That, that's that's enough on that. These veins on the membrane, they also carry on into the bulb. So make sure that these lines are very faint as well and go in the direction of the bulb. And you can see those on the inside of the bulb, on the white part, but not on the out outer side. So that's fine. Also, the pedals, pedals, petals have got um, very fine lines in as well. I can just put those in very, very lightly. Got one that goes from the back there into the point. Just another one. Don't overdo it because it looks very, very contrived. So just very, very faint lines. One down the centre of there. They usually go, come round. It's just to show that we've got veins in there, but don't overdo it. We'll also put this very thin line at the back of this section of the leaf, which is here. Again, very, very gently do that. Little bit of paint there. That's fine, just to show that thickness. Later, that will be washed over and it won't be as white, and neither will these centre veins. We now move on to the root system. And with root systems, they need to be painted to the quality of the rest of the work. It's um, sometimes forgotten that, you know, the roots play a big part in the build-up of the, of the plant portrait. And very often people just do straight lines, and they've spent all this time getting the... Uh, bulb looking three-dimensional, but the roots are flat. So wherever they catch the light, if there's a bend in a root, it will catch the light. Where it comes further down, out of light, it will be darker. So although they're very fine, they need attention, just the same. They've got form. And also they've got depth. So it's no point in doing a bulb that's a rounded concentric shape if the roots all come out from one side which is the front side Th they've got to be at the back as well so we need to put the ones at the back darker so i'll start by working from the dark side again the right hand side i'm just going to outline these very carefully with the same brush like i said before it doesn't have to be a smaller brush as long as it's got a good point and make sure that you do not paint over the root that's above the one that's underneath. So you've got to show that it's on top and underneath. So this one here, I know it's very fine. We're coming there and it comes to this one that comes over. Then it comes down into the other one. So we'll do that one. This one comes down underneath that one. Very fine. And again, this one here 
this one and just remember which is which and they should all fit um, it's no use bringing uh, one route down and then it, it stops at the other route it will obviously have to come out the other side so make sure it does come out the other side and then it'll be a more accurate illustration so I'm working this one now just out here just doing the out outline which is perfectly okay now as you can see they're a little bit more prominent go in with the same mix neutral tint but the ones where they cross over will just shadow underneath both sides but grade it grading your paint on a large area is quite the norm it's no different on a small area so give it the same attention so now we can go even darker than that but not in one go i'm just going underneath there and above there and i'll just soften that edge there Remember there's a bend here, so we don't want to lose that little highlight. It's very small, but we don't want to lose it. Again here, this one is darker underneath than that one. We just bring that in into the bend. This one is underneath that, so that can be a little bit darker quite pale at the moment but they won't be when they've got more paint on but at least we'll know where we're going we, we've already done it in a weak wash as we've done everything else and we know exactly where we're going because it's small it will be dry very quickly I'm going to just strengthen that up a little bit that mix and the ones that are the furthest away I will just darken a little bit more so although it's detail, we are going a little bit back to the crossovers, but it can be done in one operation rather than two. So the ones furthest away, which I've done, there's one there. Just go that bit darker. And... bring that up there this one so I'm leaving that one on top you need to spend quite a lot of time on the roots uh, they are very time consuming um, so don't rush them so we can bring that one down because this is going into shadow and we're just making them a little bit more prominent but realistic. Now we've got the form there with the uh, neutral tint. What we need to do now is most roots have got a little bit of brown in them. The soil of course. So we can just go back to the bulb colour. Just a very very weak wash just to just tone those in with a little bit of the brown. Not much just to give them the colour. We can look anywhere else, There's a little bit more on this area here because it's quite, quite in shadow. So we can go back into that. And we can just add a little bit of green into the venation of the leaves. So we'll just bring those lines in, very thin. And on the back of this one, very thin. Now this has got small section here that's like I've said before it's square section so we can just emphasize that and at the bottom 
that we know is square section. So that completes the detail stage. Okay, we'll now go on to the fifth stage, which is called harmonization. And there's very little on a small area like this snowdrop, but there is some, and that is the transition from the green to the white. Uh, we've already got the white on the highlight. So there's just a little bit from this green onto the petals. So I'm going to mix a very, very thin wash of the green um, that I use for the calyx. Extremely thin. We don't want a green petal, but we want just a hint of green. And so I'm just going to mix that extremely thin, very little, and just wash this lower petal to start with, just round here. A bit more water. Because although they're white, some of them are biased towards green. So we'll just have that little bit of green on there and it's it just brings the two together so just a little bit there and we'll have a little bit just underneath here as a re reflection from that little green chevron that's underneath just underneath there and that will just bring that into play and look quite nice don't overdo it at all just a hint um, we often look at a flower and people will say oh well it's grey and it's white but there's a hint of green and there is um, but you cannot paint that in, in the colour that you mix so it has to be applied after and that's at the stage that I've just done so that's the end of that stage OK, we're now on to the final stage Stage six, which is discretionary washes, which brings everything together. It brings all the veins together. Because we've been painting really in sections, uh, it brings together the stem, the leaves, the bulb. So what I'm going to use is a little bit of transparent yellow. It does lift greens, and um, we're going to do that. And I'm just mixing it up now. Extremely, extremely thin, and I mean thin. Don't do it too thick or you'll end up with yellow, too yet much yellow in your in your leaves and stem and bulb. So we'll start from the top. I'll use my little piece of kitchen roll again just to protect down below while I've got my hands on it. Do not do the petals. There's nothing there at all. But we can work on just this little sepal and stem. Paint all over it, don't be afraid. Just to paint over that with your same size brush, number two, obviously accurately again. And we'll paint all over this, including the midrib, because that they are not white, but they are a very light green. So this just brings that into play as well, and makes it much better. So I'm just painting that in. Also, do not do the white membrane, because that will just spoil that completely. So we can just go over that, go over this leaf, the inside. And also, where we left that little thin line for the thickness, we can go over that as well. And that will just bring that into play as well. It works quite well. And the centre midrib. But we've not lost the form at all. We've still got the form, we've still got the dips and dives. So there's no problem there. And also, we need to give the bulb a wash because it just warms that up a bit and gives it a much more pleasing look. We can do both sides. Again, do not do the white in the middle. Now, we can look at that, and if it's not done the job, we can do it again. And I think on possibly this leaf here, uh, we'll give it another, another wash. It dries very quickly, because there's lots of paint on there now. So we can just bring that into there, just lose that bit of harshness. Like that, right down to this bottom. I'm going to just give a little bit more to the underside. And it won't alter the colour too much either. 
it will just help a little bit on that chevron there just to lift it a little bit as well just helps and I'll just go a little bit more on the right hand side of the bulb and on a small portrait like this Galanthus nivalis or snowdrop um, that completes the the final stage so let's have a final look at the six step procedure that I've been using in the paintings that you've seen. The first step is a very thin wash, grading into the highlights. When that's dry, you can go on to the second step, which is much thicker paint, building up the tonal values to give even more three dimensional look. After that's dried, you can then go on to the third step, which is called crossovers. This is to put the various components in their correct position by using darker colours. So after that stride, we'll go to the fourth step, which is harmonisation. And that is the change over from, say, a red flower to a green leaf. So we would put a small wash of green on the red and the red to the green. We then go on to the next stage, which is the detail. That's all the small hairs, thorns, venation on the petals, etc. The sixth and final step is the discretionary washes. So that brings us to the end of the programme and the end of the series. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you all again soon. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The extended DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.